Hello guys, Deco here. First off, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. Yesterday it was from 134 subscribers to 350 or, or something. So, I'm pretty happy, I'm very excited for all the interest in my videos. And I hope you will enjoy this one. So, this is a challenge from some guy and he asked me to make a portcullis where you don't see sand either when it's closed or open so here it is, let's see the next action open it's 5 high I can probably make it higher but then I need to set up the top different because this is now a 5 extender and it retracts too and down quick so it's back in its original state so that it can actually push up all the blocks because if there was a piston this piston for example was down here then it wouldn't have the power to push that last block up so I had to retract the whole thing and down here I have this six piston extender here are all regular pistons and then here I have two sticky pistons so what happens when it opens then this will retract then that block will be taken by this piston then these will start rolling and at the point that I power this block and this row of pistons, a one tick pulse will be created and that will run over to th these pistons over here. And then that will happen that one tick pulse will arrive two ticks after this one fired. And then two ticks after that one tick pulse. This one will fire at the point is here. And that until you have the six extender done. <coughs> And then for getting it down, I have a little clock over here, and that fires uh, five times. And then when it closes again with this block, then it pushes the sixth one there. And for the hidden door thing over here, I have a little T flip flop. And the input is over here. Um, it's about a two tick falling edge detector and a rising edge detector one tick going into here and that will then trigger the tick flop flop which gets that block down and then the one tick pulse after five ticks arrives over here and that pulse then starts pushing this over there and also that pulse will have a long delay or pretty long delay and then it starts the here it triggers the RS Norlatch which starts the clock and then it's down again so that's for the part underneath and up here I just have a pulse of about three ticks coming up and that extends all the pistons and retracts them back but it doesn't do it so that it retracts a block from here stuff like that so yeah that was the whole thing and I hope you like it and challenge me to make another thing or maybe a battle I would like it and I'll see you next time